Hey what's up guys, this is 3 Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial and if you are interested in how to reduce your render times tremendously, then this is the right training for you. This is a little promo for my Patreon 3D Bonfire where it's all about cubes and cool 3D stuff in October. Okay, so this is the topic for October, but what I want to talk with you guys is how can you use your renderings that come out of Cinema 4D for example or Blender, whatever you use and you render it with 30 frames per second, but then you have the feeling like oh man, this could be even more smooth, okay? So for example, this one, I was rendering it in 30 frames per second. I always do that, but then I felt like, oh man, this, this feels not as smooth as I want to have it, okay? I mean, just look at it, especially the bright areas, you can see it, it's a bit jumping, okay? And I want to have this really smooth. I just like to have it smooth as silk with 60 frames per second, okay? And then I was thinking, do I really need to re-render this? Does this make sense in the time we are living right now with crazy AI development, electronic cars, we're going to Mars, so there should be a possibility to interpolate this, right? And yes, there is a possibility to use AI to interpolate these frames, to calculate them, so you don't have to render 60 frames per second, but you just render out your 30 frames and then AI will do the job for you, okay? So that sounds pretty cool, right? All right, and this will be our first use case of this app. It's called Flow Frames, okay? Which will help you to just calculate extra frames that you didn't render out of Cinema 4D, which costs you render time, CPU, GPU, which is just expensive. Now AI is kicking in and will do the job for you, okay? So I think this is just amazing and the quality is incredible. So let's just do this and afterwards I will We'll show you another option where you for example go to Cinema 4D and don't render out 30 frames per second but you just render out like 15 frames per second and then use flow frames again to just push it to 30 frames or even 60 frames again okay so let's just do that all right and as I said first I want to take this image sequence it's 150 frames I guess Yes, 150 frames, okay, based on 30 frames per second. But now we want to turn it into 300 frames and can render it as 60 frames per second, okay? All right, and therefore you just go to this web address or you just search for flow frames, okay? And then you will find this amazing app. It's free, but of course you can donate something. You can also become a Patreon. And this seems to be the button where you can download it, okay? So just click it, then you type in the number, for example, I don't know, 20, oh, okay, that's a lot. Something like $20 if you really like it or just choose your price. Of course, you can also have it for free and then just click on this one, for example, say download it, okay? And then choose this or this one. I mean, I don't need to tell you how to install programs, right? Okay, all right. So when you installed it, then just fire it up. This one is flow frames 1.29.0. So let me just explain what you can see here. I think you will start on the welcome screen here, just some news and some patrons, okay? So you can click on Patreon if you want to become one. But for us, this one is more important, all right? So you go to interpolation and basically everything here is set up already for me so all of this is working I don't really want to change anything here to be honest this is set up for my Nvidia card if you have another graphic cards I guess this will be set up to another mode here but I'm just guessing anyway let's keep this simple so this one is for the input video okay so you can put in an mp4 or browse to a folder and I like to just load in my image sequence I think you should have something like PNG or TIFF I guess it will not work with JPEGs but this is just me who failed with JPEGs maybe it is working for you but anyway let's just go to a folder here all right and you can see here this is my rendering out of Cinema 4D in 30 frames per second okay it will not show you here the renderings but it is there I will just prove it to you that this is not empty so this is my folder on my system here are the renderings from Cinema 4D and this is going from 0 to 150, okay? So 150 frames based on 30 frames per second, which makes 5 
seconds of rendering. All right, so let's choose this folder. Okay, so this is set up. Now you have to set an output directory. Okay, so browse it again. And this time I will just create a new folder. You can name it, for example, flow frames 60 frames per second. Okay, so this is my output selected. And now you have to say what should it do with it. Okay, so I set the frames to 30 frames. This is my input. And now I want to render out basically 60 frames. Okay, so times two to have just more interpolation in the in between frames so between every frame there will be another frame which will make it even smoother all right so this is what i want to do now okay and i want to output it as pngs okay perfect and then i would say you just click on interpolate okay let's make life easy click it and let it calculate and i think this will calculate for maybe 30 seconds all right and that was really fast 19 seconds on my system but to be honest i have two 3090 cards okay so maybe in your case it will be a bit slower or maybe it will be faster if you have even more cards but anyway this is my output renderings now you can see in the flow frames folder 60 frames per second there is another folder okay and now we should have 300 frames or 301 okay so the double amount of frames nice let's go to after effects and let's see how this is looking this is our initial rendering 150 frames just put it here all right and now this is what comes out of flow frames okay so i would just put it here okay it's the double amount of frames i already set interpolation to 60 frames okay so now this one will be just more smooth because it just has the double amount of frames to calculate okay yeah so i think i don't really need to say anything more about this so this would just be an easy option to make your render smoother of course you can also interpolate this one as 30 frames okay now you just basically uh, let me put this one to 10 seconds now you basically made this rendering slower okay so this will be half the speed and you have a 10 second rendering okay so this is also an option to slow it down or just make it smoother all right all right let me tell you about another use case i mean it's pretty much the same so i would just go to cinema 4d and you can see this is one of my cameras i set up in this scene and by the way all of these assets they will be on my patreon so if you want to support me there just have a look on it okay but anyway so this is my scene and you can see when i go to my render settings this one is set to 30 frames per second this is just my basic frame rate okay but of course you could also set this one to 15 frames okay now you just render out 75 frames all right so basically you just reduce the render time by half because you just render out every second frame and let flow frames calculate the in-between frames okay so you can render this one out at 15 frames and then recalculate into a 30 frames rendering okay so let's just do this and therefore just to render this one out faster i will render out a viewport rendering okay and go to my save and i will save this one as png because i think you shouldn't do it with jpegs all right and now i will save this rendering out all right and i will make a new folder rendering cinema 4d 15 frames per second just select this one and give it also a proper name okay and save it and of course click on render let it calculate and then we meet again in after effects all right so back in after effects you can see this is our new rendering out of cinema 4d i would just put it here and now you can see this is only half as long because we just rendered out every second frame okay so this will be basically too fast for us all right because you can see our original rendering should last for five seconds so this is too fast but now we go to flow frames again okay and put into the input video our new rendering go to the folder select this one choose it and now give it an output folder something like this okay just click it select it and now we just say we want to start with 15 frames and now multiply it by two and we land again on 30 frames per second okay and again let it calculate all right just in case this will not work for you and you get an error message it's because we rendered out these images as 8-bit pngs but you need to render them as 16-bit okay so just go back to cinema set this one to 16-bit create a new folder 16-bit and then it should interpolate just fine okay all right and now let's just load this flow frames 30 frames per second rendering into after effects okay so import it 
and put it here. And now this will be again five seconds rendering, okay? So you have really crazy possibilities here now with AI, of course you could also make a step of four, okay? So maybe you wanna go crazy and to put a 15 FPS rendering into a 60 FPS rendering, okay? You can even put it times eight, all right? So this is crazy. And this will still look reasonably good or I mean, pretty amazing, all right? But I like to stick to two and a maximum of four, all right? Well, anyway, thank you so much for your time. I hope this will be useful for you. At least for me, it split my render times into just a quarter or at least a half of my rendering times that I usually have because I don't have to calculate so much frames anymore, okay? And by the way, if you are interested to learn something about CG, especially about cubes this month in October 2021, then check out my Patreon, okay? Because I have a lot to talk about this topic. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this to be useful. Ring the bell and uh, just create something amazing, okay? So thank you again. Bye, guys.